so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to record a song in audacity maybe you are quite familiar with other you know audio editing apps or audio editing tools but not audacity so i'm going to show you a walk around the audacity environment you get familiar with it because this is going to form the basics of all that we'll be doing on this channel remember i told you we're going to be working only with audacity on this channel so i'm going to show you how to record a song in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to remove background noise without losing the quality of the audio but in this tutorial i'm just going to you know do a quick walk around show you how the interface or how the audacity environment looks like so you get familiar you know where stuffs are so you know where to pick things from and then we can progress from there so without further ado let's dive right in so um if you are seeing this video tutorial it means that you are interested in learning how to make quality audios yeah either as a podcaster or as an upcoming music producer or as a voiceover artist you just need you know a tool that can help you do quality audios trust me you are going to love audacity okay i am assuming that you already have audacity installed if not you go ahead use the link in the description download audacity get it installed and we are ready to go so you can see my screen and uh, i'm sure the audio is okay you can hear me you can see my screen uh, i believe the cursor is showing on the screen so you can see exactly what i'm doing i'm going to assume that you are a novice or you have no idea so i'm going to quickly do uh, a quick walk around the audacity work environment so you get familiar with stuff now I, I would like you to really pay attention to this because this is going to form the basics of what we're going to be doing on this channel once you launch the audacity app is going to look like this it's going to look not much different from this depending on the version that you have downloaded um, the first tab you see there is the file new to open a new window of audacity um or you open an existing one with ctrl o or you open a recent file you can see some of the recent files that have been working on or you can close it down save you can save you can save project now the difference between saving project and exporting saving project is you're working you're not yet done you can just save it you save it as a raw file as the audacity file but when you're exporting it means that you are true you want to export either as mp3 or as a wav file or whatever of the you know formats that are available there you see nothing is showing now because there's nothing to export this is a blank um environment now for import it means that you already have an audio file somewhere you want to work on you want to bring it in let's say you have an instrumental you want to sing along or you want to work with you import it in okay i'm going to do the imports um shortly um okay that's about that for this now the next tab just skip the rest and just go to for tracks you see you can add new tracks there are no tracks currently now you can add new tracks either in mono or in stereo mono means just a single track stereo means the, the track has left and right channels you know um you can label track and time track and all that well um just head over to effects now effect is where the work gets done effect these are the tools that we use to do the real audio editing job okay now it's all showing blank uh, except for a few effects that are you know um there i liked it uh, okay so what we're going to do we're going to quickly record an audio that we will work with we'll play around you know so you get a feel of how the audacity environment works okay uh, there there's you can see some controls um okay you see this uh mic mic here you select whatever mic that you have on i'm using this uh, mic that i connected via 
the a USB interface and it's showing there a microphone USB. That's what's selected. That's what I'm using currently. Then uh, the headphones, um, if you have a headphones or you have earpiece or something for feedback to hear what you're working on, you select whatever it is that you're working with. If it's a USB or a, uh, a headphone or just this direct audio coming out from your, um, your laptop or your desktop or whatever you're using. And then these are some of the controls. We'll, we'll get used to them as we work on projects. Okay, so let, let, let's quickly do um, a rough recording. Okay, so I'm going to record. You, you, you see the controls. You see this is pause, this is play, this is stop, this um, rewind, forward, and record. Immediately you hit the record button, it automatically creates a new track and starts recording. So we go ahead and we record. So it's recording. I intentionally left some room before saying anything. I'm going to tell you why. Um, perhaps in this tutorial or perhaps in the next tutorial. Okay, so it's recording. You can look at the waveform. Let me stop the recording. Okay. I, you can stop the recording with this or you can use the space bar if you're using a Windows, um, a Windows operating system. So use this to stop. I've stopped the recording. Now I can go back to play the recording. Okay. So it's recording. So you, 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 you hear the noise, you hear the homing noise before the recording starts playing. The reason why, now let me just tell you why. The reason why I kept this space is later on when we're working on this, I'm going to tell Audacity that this part of it is background noise. So that I can tell Audacity this is background noise and to remove it from the entire recording. So I'll do a separate video on how to reduce, remove background noise and give you this cleaner and richer audio sound in a separate tutorial. But um, you can see some of these controls here, one of them, this, either this or this. Okay, I, I light, you can I light this by either using control A or whatever, keyboard shortcuts, or you can just come here, click on this open space here to highlight. You click on this open space. That's what I do. I click on this open space here to highlight the whole thing. Then by you click here to, you know, put the whole, um, the, the whole recording in a single frame so you can see everything at once. Okay, so you look at the waveform. Before I do any form of edit, I'm looking at the waveform. Now the waveform is showing, you know, you see some parts are loud, some parts are big, some parts are small and all that. Now when you're recording, you want to try as much as possible to keep the volume high or, you know, project, let your voice be loud so that when you're going to be re removing background noise, you will not be removing parts of the actual audio recording because Audacity noise removal works with uh, frequencies. So when the frequency is low, the ones that are on the extreme low end might go with it. Okay, so we just made a recording and uh, I will play back the recording. Let's have a listen. So it's recording. I intentionally left some room before saying anything. I'm going to tell you why um, perhaps in this tutorial or awesome. Okay, so we've we have a track now if you watch this track is in stereo stereo means that there are two channels left and right channel the reason for this is you can pan you can take one channel to the right and take one to the left see see this knob here plus minus left and right you want the slider at the bottom panning if i'm going this way i'm moving towards the left okay so the right the left channel will be low let's have a listen so it's recording. I intentionally left some room before saying anything. I'm going to tell you why uh, perhaps in this tutorial or perhaps in the next tutorial. Okay. Okay. So it's recording. You can look at the waveform. All right. I'll do a separate tutorial to explain this panning to you, but you, you get the whole idea. Then this is for um, to amplify the gain. We want to make it louder. We want to reduce it and all of that. Okay, now let's look at the effects. If you look at effects, you see um, noise re repeat noise reduction. This is showing repeat noise reduction as the first one there because I had already done noise reduction before I started this tutorial. So if we are going to do, maybe we want to amplify, we select amplify. Amplify means we want to 
make it louder it's too low we want to make it louder you can either use the slider or you can type the value we want to amplify by say three decibels i type in three decibels and okay you see what happens becomes louder some parts of the waveform is now bigger uh, maybe it's not visible enough control z we undo it and um, let me go again amplify by five decibels wow you see it okay so that's how we amplify we increase it and then you can also reduce there are some times that some parts are extremely louder than some parts i want to work on it you select this part like i can select this part is too loud and then i come and amplify minus i'm sliding negative negative 2.9 or negative 2 minus 2 you see awesome so sometimes that's what i do when some parts are too high and some parts are too low the parts that are too high i you know reduce the volume with the amplify negative and when it's too low i increase the volume with the amplify positive then you can also um bass and treble you can add some bars you can add some treble you can change the pitch you can change the speed you can change the tempo i'll do separate tutorials to explain all of this and um, click removal compressor distortion echo equalization all of these are showing now because we have a track okay fade in fade out insert noise reduction normalize uh phaser repair reverb um reverse and some other functions and so on and so forth so um this is it we and the, the beauty of this is that you can also um record more tracks i can go ahead again and hit the record um perhaps okay. in this um, tutorial or from there because the cursor was already here but uh okay let me go ahead delete and record again i want to record from the beginning i just go back place the cursor from the beginning and then i hit record now this recording so it's recording i intentionally left some room before saying anything i'm going to tell you what silent the first recording so that you know or perhaps um i want to use the first recording say the first recording is uh, maybe an instrumental i can play it but i can record multiple tracks then maybe i made a mistake somewhere i've stopped the recording i made a mistake somewhere and i can just um okay view track size fit to height okay now i can select maybe this part of the recording i don't like it i can select it and um, cut it off or i can silence it do another recording and all of that we'll get very familiar with this we'll get used to this but this is just basically how it works and in all of the tutorials you are going to be seeing exactly what i'll be doing and trust me you are going to really love audacity when you get very familiar with it so this how to do a simple recording in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to do a fantastic noise reduction without losing the quality of the audio so that's it um so in the next tutorial like i said in the next tutorial we're going to reduce or we're going to remove the background noise and we we'll progress from there okay so that's it simple and easy i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i hope you followed if you did please let me know in the comment section uh, if you had any challenges with either installing the audacity software or following any part of the tutorial also drop a comment so that i know and uh, i know how to reach out to you and help you if you found the tutorial useful please give the video a thumbs up hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe so that youtube notifies you whenever i upload a new video tutorial so that's it guys see you in the next tutorial Cheers.